We're finally about to open up, but to make it truly open, we need to remove this senseless PCR test. The molecular test does nothing to make things safer. It doesn't help anybody. Mayors along the U.S.-Canada border and tourism groups are asking Canada to drop PCR COVID testing requirements for those looking to come up north. They say it's a burden on travel, but at least one infection control epidemiologist says dropping the tests isn't the best idea. If you think about the economic harm uh, by border communities that actually really depend upon cross-border traffic. There's been, you know, 20 months of massive disruption. So I can completely empathize. We're not in a good place yet. We are not. The plea from border mayors comes on the same day the U.S. opened the land border to Canadian travelers. No test is needed, though vaccination is. But Canadians must show a negative molecular test to come back, whether they've been down there a week or just a few hours to visit family. The tests can be expensive, upwards of $200 in some cases, and are an obstacle for some travelers. For a family of four, a thousand bucks to go across to, to share with your family, that's the issue from my point of view, that we need that testing. Uh, the Medical Officer of Health for Canada made it clear that uh, they're looking and reviewing that to me, which is Ottawa speak for, we're, we're getting a lot of pressure, we're not getting any validation, and this is an effective form of testing, and it is financially very difficult on people crossing land borders. Furness says the cost is a fair concern. He points out that for screening vaccinated travelers, a rapid antibody test could work just as well as a molecular PCR test. Antibody tests are far cheaper and can return results in as little as 15 minutes. However, there's not been much attention focused on that area. I think governments and public health authorities can really only think about one thing at a time. And initially it was testing, and then it's vaccination. And now governments are starting to look at rapid testing. And it's frustrating, obviously. Now the border requirements have to be renewed regularly, and they come up again on November 21st. Dr. Theresa Tam says Canada is looking at the PCR test requirement, but there's no indication yet on if that requirement will be dropped or changed. In Ottawa, Shao Lee Lee, City News.